In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to fix an iPod that will not restore to factory settings. Now what happens is when you're unable to restore iTunes will show a message that usually says an unknown error has occurred and right after that you'll see a four digit code and iTunes will not allow your iPod to restore. Now the first thing that I recommend and this is from experience is that your iTunes should have the latest updates. So make sure that your iTunes software it has the latest updates. To do this just go to iTunes, open it up and on top you'll see an option that says help. Click on help and then a drop down box will come and it'll say check for updates. Go to check for updates, make sure it has the latest updates. Then try to restore. If that doesn't work the next thing I highly recommend is is to disconnect the iPod from the computer, plug it into the wall and make sure it's fully charged. The battery meter is finished, it says fully charged, then attempt to restore it. This is important because your iPod has to have a lot of battery power to interface with iTunes software to be restored and it's battery intensive, it's labor intensive. So basically if it has a full battery it should help it restore. Now if this doesn't work there's a few other things you can do. You could try unplugging the iPod from the computer and try to plug it into a different USB port on the same computer. This might resolve the issue. Now if that doesn't work I would try to also update your USB drivers if you have a Windows PC. Now before you do this and go to that extreme try to connect it to a different computer which has the latest version of iTunes and that just might work. If that doesn't work you can also try to use a different sync cable. I found that by using a good sync cable it should be an original Apple sync cable and by doing that it should allow your iPod to connect with iTunes properly and of course restore. So the best thing to do is to use the process of elimination. I've tried all of these things when I ran into an issue where I was unable to restore and when I corrected the issue the iPod was then able to restore. So I hope you found this video useful to you. Please show your support for this channel by subscribing. Feel free to leave comments, rate this video and thank you for tuning in.